My name is Marina Zeher Nakhla. I was born in Los Angeles, California to two Coptic Egyptian immigrant parents. My parents immigrated from Egypt to the United States of America for better opportunities, religious freedom, and they knew that it was gonna be a better life for their future family. When I was born, doctors told my parents that I was missing my tibias, or otherwise known as tibial hemimilia, in both of my legs. I was also born missing some of my fingers. I have four fingers on my left hand and three fingers on my right hand. This is known as ectrodactyly in medical terminology. The doctors told my parents that they had to make an incredibly difficult decision. Either amputate my legs now when I'm younger so that I could have the chance to walk, or I can keep my legs forever but I stay in a wheelchair forever. I became a bilateral above knee amputee at 14 months old. Even though I had my amputations at one year old, the challenges didn't stop there. Throughout school, I had a really difficult time with accepting myself and loving myself for who I was. Some of that was because of the bullying, the negative attention I received. When someone is disabled in many parts of the world, it's seen as that their life is over. They can't live a normal life like everybody else. But my parents always told me, God made you special, not different. And that was something that I carried with me throughout my life. When I was about 11 years old, my clinicians, my prosthetists and doctors were getting concerned because I had an extra bone growing out of my femur on my left leg. After I finished um, school that year and that summer, I had another surgery. Because of the removal of the bone, I did have to relearn how to walk again. I felt like I lost a lot. This was the summer that I saw all the kids playing around. I saw everyone enjoying their time and I was stuck in a wheelchair and I couldn't get out of it. I got a lot of support not only from my mom and my sister, but also from the church community. I couldn't even as much as get up to go take a shower because there were stairs in the house. Throughout that time though, I developed an incredibly different outlook on things. I really learned to appreciate everything that I have in my life. My prosthetic technology, my clinicians, my doctors, having access to medical care. When I made it through the other side of the tunnel, I, I started to see the light again. I eventually found my way to Hanger Clinic and I didn't know what I was missing until I was really connected with the limb loss community and the Baka boot camp. I've been coming back year by year by year and I feel so grateful to have a family and it's something that encourages me to continue to thrive. Being involved in the limb loss community, being involved in different disability advocacy and just taking a couple of psychology classes in, in school, it, this really led to me pursuing a PhD in clinical psychology. I'm still finishing up my PhD, I'm in my last year right now, but I, I'm so passionate about really bridging different communities that I grew up in together. You know, mental health, physical disability, cultural stigma and cultural factors and how that plays a role in our development. And I'm just really passionate about being able to give back to the community because I feel like I received so much support growing up and I love that one day when I graduate and when I get my license, that I'll be able to give back to these different communities in a professional way.